So Ian's being a real big boy. He's cleaning dishes. Because he wants oatmeal. Building gingerbread homes. Very good. Well, Ian, yeah, I can't see. Look at that. Dude, the gumdrops too, guys. Good job. Gumdrops. Gumdrops. Gummy, gummy, gumdrops. As you can see, we got a new table. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thanks to the charity yeah. of Brittany's mom, Brittany. plus some of our, our, and grandparents, and some of our money, we all chipped in for a table. We're at Canyon. Yeah. Goodness, all right, Connor, go down. Lake Tahoe. Uh, so before I forget, shout out to Ansley Snyder and Iona Cameron, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody else. Um, there's really only one thing I, I want to talk about, and that is acclimating. Our kids are acclimating pretty well to stores and outside environments and high sensory areas, and we're just really proud of them. Um, just want to share that Christmas message with you that there is hope. Like, We've taken our kids to malls and they haven't put on their headphones. We have them as a backup just in case. The way I like to think of it is kind of like climbers on Mount Everest. Uh, they acclimatize by going in stages. So the oxygen count in their uh, hemoglobin increases, their blood count, their red cell blood count increases, and eventually they adapt. They just get used to it. And similarly, the more we expose our children um, with ASD to outside environments, to noisy environments, the more they adapt. And it doesn't mean their autism is going to go away by any means. It just means that they get more uh, used to it. So yeah, a lot of people are like, where are all the uh, autistic adults and everything like that? And the answer is, is they're, they're out there. They've just adapted a little bit better. And, you know, we've taken the kids to the toy shop the other night and they did great there. There's a bunch of lights and sounds and other kids making noise. And, you know, Ian at school, they had a little Santa get together and he handled that like a champ. So anyway, that's the Christmas message is things get better. There is hope. They do adapt. I love how we come to uh, these places at the right time. And by that, I mean when things are flooded with icy cold water. Look at that. It's finally snowing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We're hiking up to Fallen Leaf Lake. Now that is a gorgeous sight. Worth the hike. It is really windy and cold. So we're not gonna be here long. Oh yeah, you like it. You love really cool temperatures. I think all of us are freezing here. Yeah, I think it's time to go. I know, but it's freezing. We'll have hot cocoa later. Yeah, we'll have hot cocoa later. And we'll get some hot chocolate. You like the snow, Connor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the ice. Yeah, that's pretty up here. I like, I like some ice. And I look like the ice. <laughs> yeah, you look like the ice? All right, Brittany's got some special news. Well, I graduated. Got your associate's degree? My associate's of science. At uh, UVU. Yep, Utah Valley University. So. I don't think baby's too happy. He just wants to play in the water. <laughs> Nighttime in the cabin. And the boys are hyper. Yeah. What's up guys? We're gonna play Mario Christmas. 
Super Mario Brothers 2. That was okay. Oh, very good. Let's see. Oh, that's a Bowser up there. Yeah. So this is kind of funny. Connor snuck out this morning to grab a pine cone. And he left the door wide open and we're like, did you go outside? And I think the evidence is pretty clear that he did go outside. Okay, Connor, show everyone your pine cone. Hold it up. Ooh, nice. It's a nice pine cone, buddy. Yeah, it's sharp. We're at the Donner Visitor Center, Donner Memorial Park in California. So this is where it talks about where the Donner Party had to resort to eating their kindred dead. That's right. So just remember, if you're having a bad Christmas, it could have been a lot worse. Because this is how they spent their Christmas. Now, it could be better too. I'm not saying it couldn't be better. I'm just saying, be grateful. Well, That's all I'm saying. My friends and I always used to um, call ourselves the Donner Party at the Italian, you know. Oh, that is so restaurant. messed up, especially in the well, sacred place. They had place. to call it out. They had a Donner Party of love. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a lot of people do that. That's so mean. Sorry. Sorry, sacred kindred dead. Where's Alistair? Where is he? There he is. Hi. Hi. He's our Talek uh, Museum, historic site, Baldwin Estates on Lake Tahoe. Alistair feels better, huh? You got sick. Poor little guy. Alright, you guys, it's time to open presents. Sit down, buddy. Sit Good down. Job. What is it? Star Wars. Star Wars. What's this? Oh, that. Ian, show me. See, it's only Star Wars. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Putty. Silly putty. These are all toys the boys picked out at the toy shop. <laughs> Alistair got his ball that he picked no, out. He loves bouncy balls. Loves them. Look at that. Yay. Yeah. He loves them. Maybe he's got a new ball. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No. Well, oh. 
Brittany picked out lotion. <laughs> Very nice. And Daddy gets to go see Rogue One with Ian for his Christmas present, so that's why you're not seeing me unwrap any gifts. Yeah, Star Wars Rogue One. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna go see that today, huh? Mm hmm. So you guys got candy canes, huh? Ow! Oh! Careful, Connor, you dropped a candy cane on his foot. That's not funny. You say sorry. Sorry. Good. Hey, YouTubers, welcome to blog number eight. Yes, we're at home. So we watched Happy Feet yesterday. So we're watching Star Wars at a movie theater. So this is Dynamic Onion Link. We have Swords and Shields. So we have Link clothes on the way pack yesterday. So this is our garden from Link. So this is our Link house. Okay, that's good. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, Daddy Link! <laughs> Say Merry Christmas, YouTubers! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas YouTubers! So what you I'm here too, but I forgot to uh, get the tripod, so I'm not in the shot. But yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Daddy Link! Oh, thank you. <laughs>